Welcome to the Super Expander Podcast. My name is Corrine Phelps, your host. I'm a business and growth coach, money mindset expert, and a multi-passionate entrepreneur. My journey has taken me all over from working in finance to owning a boutique fitness studio. I found myself burnt out, miserable, and questioning everything. Saying things to myself like, there's got to be more to life than this. Refusing to settle for a mediocre existence, I went all in, learning how to harness untapped potential and rewire the subconscious mind to create an extraordinary life. The last 10 years have been a crash course in self-love, building a business, creating community, building wealth, and doing what it takes to just freaking go for it. My mission is to help you align to your purpose, Rewire your subconscious to support your big dreams and vision and create a life that you're absolutely obsessed with. So sit back, tune in, and prepare to expand. Hello, hello, super expanders. How are you doing today? I hope that you're having the most amazing day wherever you happen to be catching this episode, wherever you're tuning in from. I hope that yeah, things are just really going your way. <laughs> so I was on a, a call with a friend earlier today when I was walking, walking my dog, Lila, and we were talking about manifesting and the steps that you have to go through or the, the optimized steps to go through when we are working towards manifesting our goals, our big dreams. And so I thought, you know, I am going to, I'm going to do a little, a little how to episode on the five key steps that I believe are integral for high performers to move through when we are manifesting your desires, when you're manifesting all the things that you want in, in your life. So manifestation is definitely a, a hot conversation these days. And, you know, I think that manifestation can seem a little bit too woo woo for high performers, but we are always manifesting. Every single one of us is manifesting and we're either manifesting our desires or we are manifesting the things that we don't want. And I think that's an important thing to learn is to bring ourselves into presence so that we can make sure that we're actually consistently manifesting our desires rather than bringing forth the things that we, we don't want. And I know that you as a high performer, you want to have the dream business, the dream career, the partner, the house, the vacations, and all of the wealth and happiness in your life. And I believe that you deserve every last drop of it. So today I'm here to tell you how these five steps are going to really propel you towards manifesting all of your desires. I don't know about you, but there's definitely been times when I was frustrated or confused about how it was to bring forth and manifest my desires. So I really sat down and started to get really clear on the steps that I have taken when it is that I've manifested really big things in my life. And I'm going to share them with you today essentially going to give you the keys to the world of your dreams in this very short and sweet episode. And really, I think the one of the most important things to, to understand as you start to go through these steps is that manifestation really comes down to energy. Our whole entire world is comprised of energy. And so what we're thinking and feeling and then doing the actions we're taking is what is creating our manifestations is what's creating our reality. So elevating our energy and keeping it in alignment is really of the utmost importance. So the first step, I know that you have heard this statement that what we focus on grows where attention goes, energy flows. And that is so, so true. So the first step in manifesting all of your desires is setting a clear intention. And that intention truly needs to come from a very pure place. 
And what I mean by that is actually multifaceted. One is just this pure intention of whatever your desire is that you desire to create coming from a place of abundance and just really pure desire that let's, for example, you want to make $10,000 a month. So that desire to make $10,000 a month isn't coming from a place of scarcity, but rather coming from a place of abundance and wanting it just literally for the, the pure the pure desire of it and to be in a place of service. Not wanting to make $10,000 a month because, you know, your friend Kelly is doing it or that you have to one up somebody, but wanting to do it, wanting to create that wealth and, and income in your life because it's stemming from a place of worthiness and wanting to do good in the world. So whether that's to share that wealth with your family or your friends or to spoil yourself really even too is fine, but making sure that it is rooted in, in pure aligned intention. I have a question for you. Have you joined the Super Expander free mentorship community? If not, what are you waiting for? Stop what you're doing right now and text the word mentor to 202-918-3235. Text the word mentor to 202-918-3235. I send out weekly tips and inspiration to help you grow your business, to step into your wealthiest, most highest self, to harness your full potential and live an exceptional and extraordinary life. And the best part is it's really me sending those messages. So text me, say hello, and send me your questions. Okay. Step number two. We have to clear subconscious blocks, meaning I just touched on a sense of worthiness, but really peeling the layers back and finding out what is a blocking you or has been blocking you from manifesting this desire. Is it a sense of work, you know, a lack of worthiness? Is it because prior to now, your intention wasn't stemming from a place of, of abundance. It was coming from a place of lack with some level of resentment around it. Um, some sort of trauma attached to this, this desire and needing to clear it out. So for instance, what I mean here is since we were talking about a financial manifestation, looking at, you know, what it is, your, your blocks around money. Do you believe that making $10,000 is hard, that it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of hard work. And so deep down inside you're blocking it because this feeling like it's just going to be too hard to create it or other sort of money mindset blocks that might be standing in the way is that it's, you know, you're not worthy of it, that this sort of wealth is meant for other people. And so as we start to peel it back and you start to kind of unravel and uncover these blocks, then we have to release them and rewire them and calibrate your energy and mindset to the place it needs to be in order to actually invite this type of wealth, this type of abundance into your life. Step number three in manifesting your desires is to generate the emotion ahead of the event. So thinking about exactly how you will feel when you, when you've created that $10,000 in your business, in your life, the manifestation that you're you're wanting to create. So whatever that happens to be, we're working with a $10,000 manifestation right now. So really thinking about what it's going to feel like when you create that $10,000, feel the love, 
feel the gratitude, step into that emotion and turn it up all the way. Literally use all of your, your senses, right? So when we start to generate that emotion, we're able to literally start operating from a sense, a place of being as if it's already happened. Step number four is to hold the vision. So we generated the emotion and now inside of that emotion, creating a vision of what it was going to, what your life would look like when you have this $10,000 get super detailed from what you'll be wearing to the people you'll be spending time with, how it is that this money is coming in to you and allowing that vision to expand and amplify. And then last is to really just bless and release and trust the timing. So when we're able to generate the emotion and have that vision and then just let it, like, let it go, right? Knowing that it is already on its way to you. This is truly the five steps to manifesting anything that you desire in your life and your business. So I'd love for you to try it out and let me know how it works for you. And even better, once you manifest your desires, I would be so thrilled if you hit me up and shared them with me. Have a great day and I will catch you on the next episode. If you like what you heard, stop, drop, and leave a five-star review and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. And as always, sharing is caring. So snap a pic and share this episode with another super expander. 